these are the eyes that we have. They're, they're green, brown, or blue. And let's see if we can get a super close up here. They do have glitter in them. And they're all painted different colors. And these these three pairs are just stuck into a ball of wax. Um, like beeswax, which you use later on. But uh, I'll just set these to the side here. So you can see what we're working on. For these two eyes, we're going to start with uh, dark blue. We have a light blue and a dark blue. And we're going to go ahead and use the darker one because I like the darker color. It really stands out. You take your glass bead or your glass eye and uh, make sure when you buy, usually when you buy these, you buy a bag full. Make sure the, the pupils are just about the same size, which should be easy. And you take your... Oh, you start with your glitter, I'm sorry. Start with your, your large glitter nail polish. You can also, just for fun, use glow-in-the-dark um, fingernail polish. It comes out around Halloween. You, know, you just put that on after the glitter, and it makes it uh, glow in the dark. But you may not want to do that for little kids. They probably wouldn't like it. You take your, your glitter fingernail polish, and you just paint the back of the eye. Don't worry about the center where the pupil is because they'll never you, you can't see through that part anyway. And just glob it on there. And you set that down to dry. And you can do a whole bunch of eyes at once on all different colors. And then you'll you'll have a nice little supply so you don't have to worry about it. So, that's the glitter, which is very, very important. It's important in every eye that you use glitter. It really helps them look alive. And you'll let these completely dry. These are dry now, and at this point, if you wanted to use the luminescent glow-in-the-dark paint, this is when you would use it, and then you would let that dry as well. I'm not going to be using the glow-in-the-dark paint on these eyes, though. If you can see the sparkly in there, they're already sparkly without any color at all. And like I said, we're going to go with blue today. And you can use fingernail polish or any other um, paints that work on glass and you'll want to get glass eyes doesn't matter the brand or anything like that just doesn't matter um, other than if you get a really thin one they drip like this one just did but I'm on a piece of paper so I don't care okay wipe off any excess on the edges and we're not finished but that's the eye so far it really brings it to life the color is just wonderful it, the eyes are what brings the bear all its character so when you do the eyes it's important to take the time and do the different layers let them dry uh, do what you need to do to, to make the eyes really stand out in the end I'll do the same thing on the other side. You can also do more than one layer if you'd like. Now while these are drying, I'm just going to set them aside for a moment and try and wipe my fingers off a bit. Um, these eyes over here who, that were done a long time ago, uh, these are blue ones, and these are the hook back, the ones with the hook. Um, I like these the best because you can pull the heck out of them when you put, put them in the head, and they don't break off. I've never had one break anyway. And your eyes will get all dirty, just wipe it off. Now this is the dry one, and um, what you would do with the dry one is you would take <clears throat> a straight pin or some other sharp object, and you would 
make straight lines out from the, the center, which is the pupil of the eye, to the edges. And that gives it those, those fine lines in the eyes all the way around. And you'll want to do a bunch of them. You start from the center and work your way out. And you're just scraping with a straight pin. And you're making a bunch of little scrapes from the center outward. And don't make them all exactly even apart. You want them just wherever you think a line should be. Just make a whole bunch of little lines. And now you'll have, and I already did the other eye, you'll have, uh, you'll have two eyes with little lines all through them. And what you can do, oops, they're still slightly tacky. What you can do, again, is um, if you wanted to, you could use another uh, layer of lighter blue or lighter, the lighter, whatever green, if it's green, lighter green, or if it's brown, a lighter brown um, behind there, and that gives it a second um, it just gives it makes it look like there's more depth to the eye but that's all there is to it you just paint the glitter on paint the paint the uh, whatever color eye color that you want on there and then wait wait for them to dry in between use a straight pin from the pupil out pupil out and then go all the way around and make sure you do straight lines from the center out kind of like like a, you're cutting a pie not just anywhere and those are your eyes let them completely dry before you put them on.